These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media and today's video tutorial per YouTube subscriber request. We're going to showcase how to make the PS2 game The Simpsons hit and run, work on the PS2 um, that's modded, that's running FMCB, free McBoot, OPL, and USB. So this particular person had an issue with the game not working, so I'm here to show you that yes, it does work. Now I will say that I initially had some trouble when I was using a USB with some other game content on there, when I put my ISO into the USB, I got a white screen. So what I ended up doing was formatting it and everything worked. So let's assume we're starting from scratch. So what you're gonna do is, let's say you have the PS2, you have an ISO already, you have a USB thumb drive formatted as FAT32. So what you wanna do is create a folder called DVD. Inside the DVD folder on the root of your thumb drive, go ahead and copy and paste that ISO. My particular ISO is, is about two gigabytes, the USA game. So what we're gonna do next, what I like to do is run a program called the OPL Manager. At the time of this recording, it's version 21.5. I have a link in the video description where you can download that. And if you don't have OPL, I'll put that in the video description as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract it to its own folder. And afterwards, we're gonna use the program to navigate to where the USB thumb drive is. So here, it's going to ask me for a prompt. Where is it? Click on browse, go to my USB, say OK, say save. And notice that it's, it's found one bad name ISO. That's OK. We're going to fix it. So what we're going to do is click on the game, get the title from the database or DB, and then click on try to update the file name. And it's going to say this. Let's rename it. So I'm going to say yes. And I already had cover art before. If you want to get new art, go to batch actions, art download, check what you want and then click on start since I already have cover art from before it's not going to replace it unless I tell it to and then that's pretty much it from that standpoint so I'm gonna go ahead and just close everything and eject the USB thumb drive plug it into your PS2 turn it on run free me boot run OPL make sure it has a uh, USB auto set up in the settings and the game should be detected and you should be good to go. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so let's do this. So here's my TV, here's my PS2, free make boot, and the game running off a of USB. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and run open PS2 loader. I'm running the latest version. See the video description for a link where you can get the latest version from the PS2 home forums. And then I have it set up to automatically load games from USB. So my USB game is detected. Let's go ahead and run it. So like I said earlier, if you have issues with this game running off a of USB, you could format your USB, start with a fresh slate, and then install the game and run it. Um, maybe your USB thumb drive is incompatible. Maybe try a different thumb drive, for example. Worst case scenario, um, if you have other files on your thumb drive, you're not willing to format it, you could try to uncheck the fragmentation check under the OPL settings, or you could try to defrag. If it still doesn't work for you, then maybe what you could do is do the Ethernet method, or if you have a fat PS2, you can do the internal hard drive as well. So I've loaded a 100% save game file on this so what I'm going to do is try to skip all the intro stuff and try to get into the game as fast as possible here from the limited testing that I've done so far the game works great um, no lag issues with the music or the gameplay at all so if you're a fan of this game then you should be ready for a lot of good times all right so resume the game turn up the volume a little bit Oh, a little bit too loud. All right, so here I am walking around. Um, let's find a car or something. Yeah. So that's today's video game tutorial for the PS2 with The Simpsons Hit and Run. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here. 
on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.